So welcome back. Our next video tutorial will be just to explore the use of the alternate system using the electrical system to extend the flaps due to a hydraulic system B failure. First of all we need to switch off the uh, hydraulic system B engine and electrical pumps. Now you can see the pressure reducing in system B. So here we are with no system B pressure, just going to move the flaps lever. As you can see, no movement on the trailing edge flaps and on the legion edge devices, no movement either. So just remove the flaps lever back into the up position. So here we are then, the QRH would have directed us to, with a loss of system B pressure, the flight control to standby rudder. System B hydraulic pump switches both to off while well, they're in the off position for us to uh, generate the System B failure. So as to plan a flaps 15 landing and then if we have any of the following conditions we need to configure for VREF ICE so which you would follow through the checklist. That's adding 10 knots onto the flaps 15 speed. So just to demonstrate then, so the alternate flaps, guarded switch, open the guarded switch and select to arm. So here, we'll watch here, just going to momentarily press this to down and straight away just from one pressing down you can see some movement in the leading edge devices. Here you can see no movement in the trailing edge as of yet, uh, but leading edge flaps transit light. So Kruger flaps full extend and the leading edge devices are in the extend position and moving still driving to the full extend position. Here you go, that's the all leading edge slats and Kruger flaps in the full extend position and we've still no movement here of the trailing edge. So here we are then about to uh, configure the aeroplane. So whether you go off into a holding pattern or you do it as you're flying along. Um, so first of all to configure flaps one. First of all move the flaps lever. I'm just bring that speed back actually. So here we are then at up speed ready to configure flaps. So initially move the flap lever and always do it in this sequence uh, just so you don't get yourselves caught out. So moving the flaps lever to flap one and then you see the flap lever drives the speed on, uh, on the speed tape. So we've just put the lever there. Now we're holding the switch down the down position, this is a spring return so you have to hold this down and keep an eye on the trailing edge gauge. What you don't want to do is to get a flap of symmetry and not notice it. Uh, so as soon as you notice any split in the needles you let go of the switch and then you're into a uh, trailing edge flap of symmetry checklist. So you can see it moves a lot slower than it would normally So here we are flaps one, we can let go of the switch and then once they're at position one, 
then you can reduce the speed. Flaps one manoeuvre in speed. Okay. Okay, so here we are, flaps one speed, same sequence. Flap lever, flaps five. That drives the flap five manoeuvre in speed on the speed tape. Alternate flap switch down, keeping your eye on the flaps, on the gauge. Here we go, flaps 5, let go of the switch and reduce flaps 5 manoeuvring speed. Okay, one thing to consider if you're in a holding pattern and you're looking to check that you can get the flaps to 15 beforehand, you might want to just drive the flaps to 10 because you'll get the gear horn without the gear down. Uh, I'll demonstrate that in a moment. So just for the time being we'll go to flaps 10. Making sure there's no split in the needles. Okay, so there we could sit flaps 10 and then we just the, uh, the slight extra adjustment into uh, flaps 15 for the landing configuration. Just to demonstrate, um, let's say we move to flaps 15. would normally do it this way so let's put the flaps lever assume we did that first so flaps 15 okay whilst there's whilst the thrusts up you're not getting any warning horns but once the thrust levers if you've got two engines below 20 degrees thrust lever angle or 34 if you've only have one engine as the thrust levers retard They might not come back far enough here, so let's drive it to do that. Let's say we'll just go down to three, 4,000 feet with level change. Once the thrust lever has reached 20 degrees, hopefully you should get the gear horn. It just wasn't quite sat at 15 there. So there's the gear horn. And as it levels at 4,000 feet, the thrust levers will come up and the horn will switch back off. There you go. Okay, so the way around that then, if we put the landing gear down. And once again encourage the thrust levers to close so there you go thrust levers back at idle and no horn now because we have the landing gear down so you can either configure gear down and then drive the flaps to 15 or drive them to 10 and then configure the rest on maybe final approach or on the intercept but um, either that or you need to live with the noise of the gear horn that's it one other thing to notice uh, if we wanted to retract the flaps this switch remains in a latch position if we move it to the up position so first of all uh, we'd want to increase speed press the switch and as I remove my finger from the switch you can see it stays in the up position and these so obviously this has the same 
uh, concerns that whilst you're driving that, even though you can let go of the switch, you need to keep an eye to make sure they're not getting any uh, asymmetry in the left and right hand side. So flaps 5, 2 and 1, max speed 250 knots. So clean speed for those of you that uh, have not seen on my other videos. So VREF 40 plus 70 is clean speed. So that's in this case going to be 206 knots. So we could drive that 206 knots and flaps can drive themselves all the way to up. Obviously, as we retract the lever, put the flap lever into the up position, that gives us the up speed which matches. So, if you can imagine a number seven here, okay, so this is how you work out the maneuvering speeds for the weight that you're at. So, clean, VREF 40 plus 70, flaps one, VREF 40 plus 50, flaps five and ten, VREF. 40 plus 30 and so on. Uh, the number 2 is VREF 40 plus 20 and that's for flaps 15 manoeuvring speed and then VREF 40 plus 10 and that's flaps 25 manoeuvring speed. hope that's been a good explanation of uh, how to drive the flaps uh, using the alternate system. hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again on the next video.